So a lot of people have been wondering, what's the right iPhone size for me? I mean, Apple just released, or is going to release, the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. So we've decided to uh, put a few phones together um, so you can see their relative size compared to one another. So I have my old, uh, soon to be replaced iPhone 5. And you know, I've used this thing for, I guess, two years now. It's gonna be sad to you know, see it go. Um, and then we made a, uh, a cardboard template uh, of the new iPhone 6, and actually the, um, <laughs> it just so happened that the cardboard um, is almost like perfect size, even the, uh, the width of the phone. Um, it's gonna be a little bit uh, just shy of the size of the 5, um, but other than that, I mean, we found a, a, a printable template online at gadgethacks.com, cut out the cardboard, and you know, it's a perfect paper prototype, so you can see exactly, you know, how large it is. Uh, then we also borrowed uh, someone's Galaxy S5, the Galaxy Note 3, and then the super huge iPhone 6 Plus, and then we also compared it to a $20 bill and a banana. Uh, so, I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, stick a few of these in my pocket and see what feels natural. Uh, just for reference, I'm five foot eight. Uh, I wear a 32 length jean, um, so you have some sort of reference. So, iPhone 5, I mean, you know, it, it's, it's very smooth, you know. You can hardly see that it's in my pocket. Um, and, you know, I generally have, like, even just car keys in there. I know you're not supposed to do that, but, you know. Uh, the iPhone 6, the 4.7 inch screen, um, you know, I tested this out earlier, and it's, it's still pretty comfortable, especially when I'm like walking around. Um, you can see a little bit of a bulge here on, uh, on, the, on my pants, but it's not too bad. Uh, when we get to the Galaxy S5, you know, it's, it's a little bit larger than the iPhone 6, um, and actually because of the curved back, um, it feels a little bit more natural. Now this is where I'm, I'm getting scared. The Galaxy Note 3, putting it in the front pocket. This is where I keep my phone. I know some people keep it in their back pocket, so we're gonna do that uh, soon. I mean, you can start to see that, especially like right here, like it's, it's really putting in a crease. And then all the way up to this. Now, you know, I know some ladies, you know, they, they carry clutch purses. This might be a little bit big, depending on the size of the purse. Uh, put this in here. I mean, I, I, I honestly cannot bend my leg. Um, so, I don't know if you know, you're know you going rock climbing, you're definitely not gonna have this in your, uh, in your pocket. Um, but, you know, go ahead and put it in the back pocket. It sticks out a little bit. I'm gonna go just back down the line. S5, or sorry, Note 3, S5, regular iPhone 6, and just, you know, iPhone 5. And I'm going to go ahead and, you know, take this 20 as my payment. And, you know, maybe put this in here. I'm good to go.